What's up guys? Mikey's in the building. Hope you guys had a great day today. Uh, it's Friday. Uh, a little slower on the end for longs for me at least. Um, I didn't really see anything I liked too much. But um, uh, APLM, beautiful uh, pre-market runner. Alright guys, uh, breaking this down because very important that if you don't understand the structure that's being taken place on these names, right? I don't know if this might be an HC. Uh, Wayne, uh, Wainwright name, but cool. Alright, it's very important to understand the structure that's being taken place on how they're getting this up to higher price targets, okay? Now, as you see right here, I kind of mark out, hey, spoof run-ups, right? What are spoofs? Okay, spoofs are uh, people bidding and then pulling, bidding and then pulling, right? Uh, they guess they don't want to buy here anymore. They're not willing to buy here, okay? It's very important to see how they do this and why, right? Uh, and it's because uh, by by market buying, right, someone's aggressively buying these and they throw up bids to help get the best offer and start cranking it out and then throw up bidders again to continually catch the price, okay? okay. And, and first of all, <laughs> let me do this again. This means nothing if you guys are not charting out supply and demand. Okay, now if you start from the daily and you start breaking things down, well, all you're going to get is this little pocket and you're kind of sitting here with all this free empty space. Guys, break things down. Go to the four hour. Mm, okay, mm, no, not really. Break it down even more. Go to the two, right? Or the three. And then the two, all right? And then the one hour, all right? You guys are always going to miss these type of things because if a breakdown candle, if something just dumped all day, all you're going to get on that daily is this big kill candle, okay? All right, that's super important. So if you don't do this, well, none of this matters, okay? And then you're not understanding where it's running into, right? Supply and demand, right? Because if you see intraday, uh, yeah, all this did was run back into that hour supply or two-hour supply I had, and then open market failed. This thing did its gap up pretty much all the way up until pre-market, open and then sold off okay cool all right so understanding these right these things do this multiple times right and look at all this empty space now they try to catch some of this stuff and they put some bids and it still gets sold into and it gets walked down again right it's being walked down on the opposite side right um, you got some uh, spoofs coming in over here some offers they pull them they have a front runner offer right here or an offer runner right here right uh, pulls back consolidates for a while and then starts to take off and actually attempts to take out this whole entire offer alright now there's a couple of times in this stock did the same thing over and over and over again look at these run-ups alright uh, two guys if you're not utilizing the book uh, you can spread this or if you know if you have the book you can spread this apart and see what it's doing I don't know and, and smaller increments. It's and super important, you know. It, a lot of people probably don't think it is, but it's it's important. You want to see how and why things are moving, okay? Right. I, you know, yeah. A lot of empty space still. Okay. This thing does this multiple times. Pulls back again to a previous area of interest and starts to rip. Now, mind you, there's not a lot of things trying to hold this down, too, right? So as this is bouncing, there's a clear offer that's still right here. And this thing is just going up only. There's not a lot of liquidity holding it down, right? What does that mean, potentially? It means that there's nobody here who really wants for their shares to get bought, right? This is a limit order. In fact, these are all limit orders, okay? Now, when they pull them and they're not there anymore, well, that's technically a spoof, right? Okay, cool. Now, again, as fast as this comes down, as fast as it can go up, if there's no resistance, no offers, okay? And again, it's the same price action on APLM throughout the whole entire day, or sorry, all the way up until pre-market, until the bell opened, and then, you know, it failed, okay? The same type of price action over and over and over again on this one, okay? All right, it's very important. Structure is everything, right? 
and then the daily. How is this structure happening? And then how is the daily opening after the structure that it put in? Okay. How is the structure happening? Right? And then how is the daily opening? And then how is it respecting the structure that it put in? All right. There's so many ways to break down structure or a few couple ways that I like. For one, I like to see average volume. Right? Get an idea. And then I like to see the volume that's coming into these candles and look for breakdowns and notice that they're not breaking down anymore. All right? Now, this is not that big of a float. That's fine. All right? So, in the beginning there's not a lot of volume. Okay. 7 a.m. opens up. Some volume comes in. And then your 8 o'clock, 8.30, more volume comes in. And then more volume comes in towards the bell. And then abnormal volume comes in at the bell. This flags. I would never buy this. Mm -mm. Not with the heat. Not, not with looking at the book, okay? I would never buy that flag. Uh, never again. At least I did that in the past. Oof, not fun. You know, because then you just, oof, yeah doesn't work and you gotta you can take a loss right so this is your little okay this is flagging okay this is your sideways flag this whole sideways flag right look at how much aggressive market buying is coming in right and then compare the market sells right market people are selling and then uh, of course you know there's this total volume thing again too Volume dots. I like to use total volume now more than the uh, volume delta, right? Because it's buy minus sell, all right? Uh, it, it might seem like there's a lot of buyers in here, but you know, boop. Once you mix it, you kind of get the total volume, and it lets you know actually what's going on, right? And you can uh, adjust these to your liking, right? But okay, all this market volume comes in. All these aggressive buyers and sellers all at once, and there's no follow through, and then they start throwing up offers, all right? And again, if you saw how this thing was trading prior pre-market structure the liquidity inside of these push-ups and as it's building pushing up you see how they start pulling guys all this did was continue to throw offers right the bids were getting sold into okay and uh huh. this one actually skipped through this one didn't get sold through this right here and then dumped through very important okay all right and then uh yeah i mean phew. Guys, I'm, yeah, <laughs> looks like this thing halted. This is what a halt looks like, potential. Yeah, it did halt. Okay, cool. All right, uh, and then it continued downwards. And then, guys, there's no support. All right, and if there is any support, it's getting immediately sold into or pulled. Immediately sold into or pulled. And now you got the spoofs on the offer side helping this stay heavy. Okay, and uh, where are we at now? Okay, we're at 96 cents. Let's see what this can do. You know, I don't know. But, all right, guys. Uh, much love. Peace out, Mikey.